Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Setting up sales tax is a two-part process. First, you have to set up the sales tax authorities that you will use. Second, you must create the sales tax codes using the sales tax authorities. Sales tax authorities are the tax rates for individual government agencies. A sales tax code is a group of one or more sales tax authorities. When you create the invoices, the sales tax code is what is used to calculate the sales tax. You can see how much sales tax has been collected per authority in the Taxable Exempt Sales Report. Now in versions of Peachtree prior to 2008, you set up your tax authorities and the associated tax codes in two different maintenance windows. Starting in Peachtree 2008, these two windows have been merged together into the sales tax wizard within Peachtree. So for upgrading users, the new sales tax wizard will seem both familiar and easier to use than the separate windows provided in the releases prior to 2008. To set up your sales tax authorities and sales tax codes in Peachtree 2008 through 2011, you select Maintain from the menu bar and then choose the Sales Taxes command. Doing this will open the Setup Sales Tax window where you can see your available options for creating, editing, deleting, and otherwise maintaining your tax codes and tax agencies. To set up a new sales tax in this window, Select the Set Up a New Sales Tax option, and then click the Next button at the bottom of the window to continue. Now the next screen allows you to enter the total rate that will be charged for the sales tax into the first available box. Note that if your sales tax is based on a formula, then you will leave the percentage box blank. You will then use the drop-down to select the number of individual agencies that make up the total tax that you will be collecting. Now, once you've made your choice, you simply click the Next button to continue. The next screen within this window then wants you to set up your taxing authorities for your sales tax. You must enter the information for each taxing authority that you selected on the previous screen. Be sure to indicate how much of the total tax rate this vendor is collecting and which account will be used to track the taxes that you collect. Note that you can use the drop-down in the middle of the screen to select the Buy Formula option if you need to enter a sales tax rate that is based on a formula versus a flat percentage. Now when you're finished, simply click the Next button to continue. Now if you only have one agency collecting a single tax, or once you have finished entering all of your taxing authorities, the last screen will allow you to name your sales tax code. You also select whether to charge tax on shipping if needed for your state. And once that information has been entered, you can then click the Finish button to finish creating the sales tax. Now, in the future, if you wish to edit, delete, or simply review the sales tax codes and sales tax agencies that you've created, you can also do that from the Setup Sales Tax screen. To edit either the tax agency information or the associated code, select the Edit an Existing Sales Tax or Sales Tax Agency option and then click the Next button. In the following screens, you can then select to edit either the code or the agencies as desired. As when creating the sales tax, you simply change whatever information is desired in each screen while clicking the Next button to continue. You can then click the Finish button when you've finished making your changes. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.